Good morning and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. Um, forewarning first off, my tripod last video kept like sliding around so I wanted to let you guys know I do have a new tripod ordered but it's not in yet. So in the meantime, if you see a whoosh, that's what's happened. <laughs> so first things first as usual, um, I'm going to get started with my coffee. So if you wasn't here on my last video, um, I mentioned that I like my iced coffee and I do have an espresso machine, but I also like hot coffee. So this morning I am going to do hot coffee and I'm doing this Newman's yeah. own um, coffee. So I went ahead and already filled up my water, my thing with water. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and push brew. Now for my creamer, I do have my Weight Watcher skill and I'm going to go ahead I'm going to see if I can get you guys closer so you can see my skill here. There we go. So what I do is I just turn it on and I put it to grams. I go ahead and put my cup on there, clear it out. Maybe, there we go. And I just <laughs> marked on the top of this how much I could have. This is the sugar-free Italian sweet cream. This is my favorite um, coffee creamer. Um, that's sugar-free. I don't really care for the French vanilla. So I get 80 grams of this. So I don't know if you can see that or not. But I'm going to 80 grams. <laughs> 81. Close enough. <laughs> but I'm going to pour my co uh, this is going to be my coffee this morning, and I will show you what else is next for breakfast. So I totally forgot to tell you guys, on my coffee, I do also add an eighth of a cup of Splenda. I know that might sound like a lot to some people, um, but I like really sweet coffee. Um, I think that's why I, li I never liked coffee until I started Weight Watchers doing the espresso and the um, Premier Protein, and it's really sweet, and I think that's the only reason why I liked it. Um, so since then, let me grab this. Since then, I have started... Um, liking coffee and I'm pretty sure that's the only reason why I've started it is because it's sweet now I'm starting to acquire a taste for it um, but I'm pretty sure that's the only reason why I don't know why I just sprayed that um, well I guess I'll put this in the microwave um, I have this center cut bacon this is two pieces for one point which is really good I honestly don't think you can find bacon um, point wise better for that even your turkey bacon is going to be one point a piece and some people don't like the flavor of turkey bacon honestly to me it doesn't bother me but if you're looking for actual bacon you cannot beat the points on center cut bacon so I'm going to put this on a plate to catch all the grease because otherwise it would be bad I don't normally cook actual bacon in the microwave like this but um, it takes too long in the skillet. <coughs> so, bacon's in the microwave. I have two eggs here. I'm going to go ahead and crack. garlic salt and I've been using this here lately and it's really good in it this Weber steak and chop stir it up a little bit just give it a sh good shake over it and while my bacon's cooking and this is cooking I'll go ahead and show you my bagels I have these Everything Bagel Thins. They're 110 calories a piece. I don't really count calories. I just do points. Some people do though. So I just keep them in a Ziploc bag because they come in this like 
cat. And um, they are three points a piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a sandwich. I'm going to have my bagel thin, my um, Bobita piece of cheese, my two slices of bacon and my egg. So my egg is zero points, three points for my bagel thin, one point for my cheese, one for, point for my bacon. So three, four, bacon is five points for my breakfast sandwich. My coffee is two smart points. So for a total of a seven point breakfast. Um, it may seem like a high point breakfast depending on how many points you have. Um, I have 35, 36, something like that. One of the other 35 or 36. I think I had 36 and I just went down to 35 this week. Anyways, either way, I have seven points, which, like I said, to some may not be very much. Um, and it's not a whole lot, but I don't know. I've, the more you're on Weight Watchers, the more you get stuck on the same foods, which is fine or whatever. But I like it. It works. And honestly, I haven't gotten tired of it. And so why change something if you're not... If it's not broken, don't fix it. <laughs> so... I'm going to finish up with my sandwich. What I usually do, once I flipped it, just go ahead and turn it off because I like it a little bit soft. And I just put that in the middle kind of like. Oh, also, I'm going to show you guys. This is my fruit for the week. I have pineapple, strawberries, and grapes. And I have just been like scooping up a good portion of this and putting it in a bowl and eating it as my snack for the week. And I also eat a banana every day. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I will show you the, what it looks like at the end. So guys, I wanted to show you this because this is like real life. Um, so you know how I said I never um, fix bacon in the microwave? This might be why. So my, <laughs> my whole plate just melted and oh my word guys, it stinks so bad. And it is like gooey black. I don't know if you can see that really good. But that's, that bad boy burnt. So, <laughs> it's going in the trash. Um, so, I guess I'm just going to have bacon or cheese, um, a cheese bagel today because I don't have time to do a whole new um, thing of bacon. So, one of those things, don't try this at home because um, it doesn't work. Um, I have done it before, but I never put it on a paper plate or a plastic plate like that before. So... Yeah, just telling you guys what happened to my bacon. So for my breakfast today, I have a egg and cheese bagel. Um, I just put it in this bag because I am doing intermittent fasting. Um, and I'll explain that here in a little bit. Um, and I have my fruit for the day. And then I have my coffee for breakfast as well. And I'm also going to have a banana. So this is going to be my breakfast and snack. And then I will show you what is for lunch. Um, now, with my intermittent fasting. So, um, I don't know if I've spoken about this or not. But I have been this plateau. Like, this really bad plateau where, like, I lose a pound, gain a pound, lose a pound, gain a pound. <laughs> lose one pound, gain three pounds. And it's like, nothing is changing in my diet. What is going on? Like, I haven't done anything different. Why am I going fluctuating so bad? Um, so I decided to up my water, so I am now drinking a gallon of water a day. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen today because I'm technically like off work today. Um, and I have errands to run, so I'm not for sure how long I'm going to do with a gallon jug of water. Um, or how cold it will stay, but all this week, it is Thursday today. All this week, every day this week, I have drank a gallon of water. And honestly, I feel better. Um, I can't tell. And my stomach has actually went down, like, bloating-wise. I know it's weird considering I'm drinking more. But anyways, so it has. I feel like it's maybe gotten better. Um, so I was wanting to do, like, a sixth... Um, anyway, rabbit trail. Um, so I've been watching videos of how, like, people are saying, like, they're recommendations of getting out of that plateau one of them was drinking water so i started my water another one was intermittent fasting with the intermittent fasting um most people do like a six to eight um i get off work at five o'clock so by the time i get home i get something fixed and eat i can't hit that six o'clock goal and i don't want to beat myself up every day because i'm not meeting a goal that i've made myself because that's my personality i do that 
So you have to figure out what works best for you. So I usually can get done eating by seven. So I'm doing like a seven to nine fast. So I'm usually at work at eight. So I fast that first hour just drinking water. And then at nine o'clock, I start drinking my coffee and I start eating my breakfast. Um, so therefore, when I when it comes one o'clock and I'm eating lunch, I'm hungry. Um, but I have noticed like, I don't know, it almost, it's almost like an addicting feeling to feel that hunger in the morning. Um, I know that's weird because I've tried like fasting before, like to really fast and it doesn't <laughs> work. But somehow this intermittent fasting, when I know I'm going to be eating at a certain time, it really helps. Um, also another thing for the plateau, um, was exercise. Yeah, I tried that too Monday night and I'm barely walking today. Um, it is better today, but like I can't hardly squat. <laughs> I hurt so stinking bad. I way overdid it, like to the point that my legs have been giving out on me at work. I literally fell um, at work um, because my leg just gave out and there was nothing to catch me. I had been catching on to everything because I'll just be walking and it's just like, it's gone. Um, I have nothing there. And so I overdid it and I know this, but I, to me, like I said, my personality, I break myself. Um, so therefore I'm like, come on fat, so you can do it. <laughs> um, so I pushed through and I pushed through too hard and I, that's another thing I have to work on and mentally, I don't have an eating disorder by no means, but being overweight doesn't just come because, oh, you ate too much. It's a, it's a mental, it's a mental thing. And, um, having that mental thing is partial of the thing I'm saying right now is you can do it. You know, you're fat, you can do this. Come on. And I push and push and push myself because I feel so bad about myself. I'm so down on myself that I overdo it. Um, and so I'm going to look at the bright side. I did exercise, but I am doing my intermittent fasting. This is my fourth day. And I'm drinking my gallon of water today. It's my fourth day. Even if it takes me all night, I'm going to do my best to drink it. So I've done two out of the three suggestions. Actually, I did three out of three, but only once because that's not happening again. But anyways, um, I will see you guys again on um, when I eat my lunch. And I'll show you what I'm having. So it has been one of those days that I knew I was going to be busy, but I didn't realize how busy I was going to be. Um, it is 7.18 and I just ate dinner. And listen, I was so hungry that I forgot to show you what I ate. Um, it was halfway done that I'm like, oh my goodness, I forgot. So I got Qdoba. I've never had Qdoba. I've never had Chipotle. And I have been seeing such good reviews on those places. So I thought I would try it out. Um, Qdoba was delicious. Um, of course, I definitely want to try Chipotle, but delicious. Um, and so what I got was their, it's called a Qdoba Mexican Grill Chicken Protein Bowl, and it's for 14 points. I did have a smoothie today um, from a rest local restaurant. I did not know how to track it. So I tracked it as a McDonald's small strawberry banana smoothie. Uh, <clears throat> it was a health place, so I'm not for sure as to how they made it, but I'm hoping it wasn't more than 10 points. Besides that, what I showed you this morning in my video is all I've had today. But honestly, I was okay. I like I was okay until like it hit me and it was bad. Um, as for water, this is how much I've drunk. I've got this much left, but I gotta get drunk tonight. Um, so. But, um, and all my running around, I went to Trader Joe's. Was not planning on doing a grocery haul, but um, I never go to Trader Joe's. This is the second time I've ever been. But I heard so much stuff about Trader Joe's, so I've been making a list on my phone where I see someone mention something that sounds good. So I went today and bought some food. So I'm going to do a Trader Joe's haul in this video. So I got my phone out so I can check the um, points on stuff. So let's get started. I have heard a lot about this spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. Um, Amanda Lewis, she really likes this stuff. And so I thought, you know what, we'll try it. This is one point for one ounce, which is really good. So we'll see how I like it. Um, I got two things of reduced guilt mac and cheese. Um, we'll see how I like it. This is eight points. Eight points for the whole container. Um, I also know that 
there's one I think Link Link Cuisine has that's like white cheddar Vermont white cheddar or something that is also like eight points I don't know if it's for the whole thing or it's for a half I think it's for the whole thing um so we'll see if this is good like I said I'm like an hour and a half away from a Trader Joe's so unless I'm going there I'm not just going to drive there for this whenever I can get it for like pretty much the same amount of points but um I thought I'd try that some again Amanda Lewis this is potato pancakes and um, these are four points for two pancakes um growing up we always made these homemade and so I'm going to see if I'm going to put them in the air fryer and see how they taste um next also Amanda <laughs> scallion pancakes um I'm not for sure if I like these because I'm not don't know I have really like ventured out um during Weight Watchers on like what I eat this is five points for one pancake I'm thinking like air fry it fry an egg like a runny egg and put ketchup over it I think that'd be so good so I don't have to see how that tastes um I got this because I thought this would be good with burgers this is a mushroom medley um it's seasoned with olive garlic a little bit season with olive oil garlic and parsley and I was afraid it would be like high in points <clears throat> because of the olive oil but it's actually four points for one cup which is a ton I don't know if I would ever eat one cup of mushrooms I mean it's just mushrooms so I think that's a lot I thought maybe it had onions in it but that's a lot of mushrooms so I would maybe do like half a cup with like a steak or a burr so I think this is gonna be good it sounds good and I've heard so many things about their mashed potatoes. These are like in little cubes. And like I guess you just put however many cubes you want in a skillet. And like saute them up kind of and it turns into mashed potatoes. Those are frozen. These are three points for eight pieces. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure I said if I understood correctly, it's like the lowest point wise in um mashed potatoes that you can find. I got some chicken, I don't even know how to say that, pot stickers. They're chicken and vegetable dumplings. Um, these are six points for seven dumplings. So you can have seven of these for six points. You can have more than the points. That's my style of eating. And then I heard so many things about these chicken cilantro mini wontons they look super yummy so i love chinese food i know it's not going to taste like chinese food but it makes me feel like it's chinese food um one point for four pieces i thought they were like one point a piece one point for four pieces i don't know why i didn't buy more of these watch me like them <laughs> Anyways, that's awesome. Four pieces for one point. That is like amazing. Um, next, I've heard a lot of good things about their chicken spring rolls. Actually, I think I've just heard good things about their spring rolls in general. I'm hoping chicken's good. Um, just their chicken spring rolls. These are three points for one roll. And talking about Chinese, I found this mildly sweet and spicy beef and broccoli. This is a little bit higher in points but not really it is 12 points for one and three fourths cup so right at two point two cups so i'm thinking okay i can do like either a side of rice or a rice cauliflower one cup of this and one cup is seven points seven points for dinner is not bad to, i mean in my opinion at all and of course depending on how many points you have depends i guess on how much you want to spend on something like this um, but I didn't think that was bad, especially if it's good. Um, so I've heard a lot of things about their cheese and I've, I'm scanning stuff. Um, I really wanted to get, I, they don't carry it anymore from what I've understood. They stopped carrying it and I heard it was supposed to come back this year, but I did not find it in the stores. Um, and that is their shredded cheese. That's like fat light or whatever. So I got light Mexican style. This is two points for a fourth of a cup. Um, I don't think that's bad, considering, I mean, a half, 
Fat-free cheese is zero points for a fourth a cup, but if you go over a fourth, it's more points. But this is real cheese, and fat-free cheese is like not real cheese. Um, the only other thing that is like good that I found is this Velveeta shreds, and that's not real cheese either, and that is points. So, and I'm pretty sure it's like the same point-wise as this. So, and plus, I'm having a problem. I don't know if everyone else is, but where I'm living, I'm having a problem finding great value cheddar and mozzarella cheese like I can get craft at times fat free but I have not found um, great value fat free cheese shredded, shredded fat free cheese in the stores in months so I'm out um, with cheese this is three points for three eighths cup so I took it down to like a fourth cup which is usually what I would use um, which is how the other one's measured and it's the same two points and this is not light this is just shredded I mean it's low moisture it's part skin but they had one that was light there and this is not light and that's not actually they might not have had light that's what I was looking for anyways this is two points for a fourth cup which I think is good so moving on um I don't need my scanner because this is zero points I was out of soy sauce, so I got some soy sauce. I have heard great things about their onion salt. And again, since it's so far away, instead of before I even tried them, I grabbed two. So hopefully it's good. Um, I've heard awesome things about chili lime sauce, like putting this like on watermelon and like mango and cantaloupe. I'm not, I don't know if I'm that kind of person, but if I am, I'll let you know. It might be good actually. Um, it says just the right amount of salt and heat and I love heat so this might be really good so we'll try this and um, next is the last thing is their 21 seasoning salute I've heard a lot of good things about this as well so I'm hoping this is really good so that is it for that like I said I ate my Qdoba which was 14 points and that ended out my night at four points left so, I ate one of these. Um, I seen someone on here, I think it was Justin from Justin's Journey. She was talking about the mini ones. And um, I scanned them, and this they scanned like three cookies for like seven points. Well, I would never eat three cookies. Um, not that I could, I just don't. Um, these are four points for two cookies. These things are good size. So I need two of these for four points. So that ended up my points for the night. And I still have, like I said, a little bit of water to drink. And I might have like a diet drink afterwards because for a sweet tooth at the end of the night. But um, with my, I mean, this is awesome. Four points for two of these cookies. And I eat them raw <laughs> because I love them raw. I know I shouldn't eat it raw because it has like egg in it or whatever, but don't tell me you don't eat that batter after you like make brownies or whatever. You don't like those, those like, whatever they are on your mixer. I always said growing up and like never even knew like eggs was bad for you raw or whatever, but people drink like raw eggs for like breakfast, like these like macho people. So anyways, <laughs> I eat these raw. They're delicious. Um, so that ends up my night. Um, I hope everyone's doing well and that is it. I'll see you next time on another What I Eat Today.